And now joining us live uh, from Lagos is the spokesman for Afenifere Yinka Odumaki. He is to shed more light on the position of the group. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, good afternoon. Good afternoon, uh, viewers. Can you shed more light on the statement credited to you that the vice president is practically out of Buhari's government and that it's in all part of the next level? Well, clearly, you know, uh, we've been sorry for the vice president for all the kind of things they have made me to go through and he's taking the Jikwani meeting. I was at uh, the Palace of Order of Jikwani weeks back when Chief Abish Adibu Tukeshim Singh was made the of event. It was their thing then when uh, Mr. Rao Parabuchola got up to read the president's speech as representative where he was present. We have seen a series of actions to strip him of all his functions. Well, some of those functions are the discussion of the president. But even though that's a constitutional, that when the president is traveling, it's in the constitution, he must transmit a letter to the National Assembly that is out of the country, and the issue should ask for him. That is said as he validated. Now, the, in your face, part of it was taking a bid to the president to sign in London. I don't know the urgency, the love and death about that bill that they have to take it to, the, to London, even to show the president that they are practically out of this. Now we are hearing that his aides are being sacked in droves. Unfortunately, what you cannot understand is that what the vice president is doing in that place. Because these are the kind of times you remember a man like a beauty way, even when a military regime resigns because the government took us from actions which was not privy to the judge you are seeing. But would that be, but a, fa would that be a fair would that be a fair assessment, considering the fact that even in the absence of the president, he is currently chairing over the Federal Executive Council meeting? It is not the Federal Executive Council, but they have to sign a bill in, uh, in London. You, know, you, can, you can see that it's not even the Federal Executive Council, but just for money him. No more or less. Couldn't it just be interpreted as loyalty on the part of the vice president to the president? You don't? Can you hear me? Hello? Did you hear me? Yeah. I didn't hear you. I didn't hear you. I'm asking that couldn't this have been interpreted as loyalty on the part of the vice president to the president as against the position that you're taking? Loyalty, loyalty, loyalty is a two-way traffic. You are being humiliated. On one hand, and you are saying you are being loyal. On the other hand, no, there's something, there's more to that. Except you have become a hostage. You cannot be rewarding the British like Iraq with reality. Interestingly, you are also a lawyer. You mentioned earlier in your comments uh, that the constitution, there is a constitutional provision if the president needs to be absent. Can you take us through those provisions when the president wants to travel out of the country on a private uh, visit? Well, it's expected to, the question is very clear that you have to try, when you are talking to the court as a president, you transmit a letter to the Senate President National Assembly I will have to the country also period. While I am away, my vice president will ask for me. And when he comes back, he transmits another letter that I am back, and then he resumes his office. But what we are having now is a strange development where people are like, Oshimu, they haven't told us that uh, the president can rule anywhere in the world. Then why don't we allow the aspirants to conduct elections and rule the from abroad? The presidency and the APC national chairman has shared an opinion that the president can rule from anywhere uh, in the world. Do you concur? That's what I'm saying that uh, we, should elect, we should quickly elect a diaspora president who can rule a from London or America and, and maintain his base and be ruling from there. I mean, think this was what I did now to put a from our colonial office in London is so strange when the office of the president is not significant. That's what I said to that's, that's just political talk by those who are setting aside the Constitution of Nigeria. But some would argue that the, the bill itself is a very important one, and some of the benefits being touted is increased revenue, and you would agree that this country needs all the finances it can get. Well, then, if, why did you to your vice president 
as active brain identifying, or you have transferred it before you left Nigeria. I mean, so you know, so there is no defense for what they're doing. No matter how important the case is, there is no defense for what they're doing. If you don't want the man again, start to impeach him or remove him. But for, for as far as he's there, you cannot do what they're doing, and we are seeing as it's right. It's not right. All right, thank you very much for sharing your thoughts with us and the news. My pleasure.